So, Empty Banks came, the title came about because um, I was in the process of releasing my last project, my 9 to 5 project, and as I was putting songs out and videos out, there was this producer that hit me up, his name Banks, the producer, and just a cool dude just hit me and was like, yo, I see what you're doing, um, if you need any beats, I'll send you some beats. So he sent like two or three, and I immediately wrote this song, uh, Love Like This. And once I wrote Love Like This, and I knew I was a record, like, I'm like, yo, I got a record. Um, I hit him back, it was like, yo, would you send some more beats? Like, I'll do a whole project with you if you down. And he was like, Shh. And sent all that shit through, sent like 11 records all together, and I ended up writing six or seven of them. So, at first it was, it was a lot of other, cause I wanted to put Banks' name in the, in the title because he gave me all these beats. That's my first time really working with one producer. So it was, I was, it was a whole bunch of different names. Running to the bank. Uh, it was a bunch of different variations of the word bank. And, and at first it was a whole different title. Um, withdraw or something like bank deposits, like or bank withdraw. It was somewhere around there. Deposits or withdrawals. It was something to, to do with that. I think it was withdrawals, but it didn't have banks in it. And I really wanted the, the banks project to have banks project, banks name in it because he really fuck with your boy. Like nobody ever really just sent the nigga beats like that. So I wanted his project that he helped me get to to really have his name in it. So um, withdrawals as the project started getting written and what I was going through was as I'm listening to the project and seeing what it's about. It's um withdrawals really fit so empty empty banks like taking the empty in your bank out withdrawals it was kind of the same thing